Guys, you ever wonder what to do with leftover pizza dough? Make one of these. I'll show you how to do that right now. Have you guys ever heard of penuozzi? P-A-N-U-O-Z-Z-I. -Z that's, that's the plural version. Penuozzo is the singular version. It is a panino pizza hybrid. So it's like taking pizza dough, making bread, and then using that bread to make a sandwich. They're absolutely delicious. I've got some of my ingredients all set up here. Okay, and then my pizza. I got two doughs ready to go. If you guys want the recipe for this dough, I'll leave a link in the upper right hand side. This is my, my, my biga dough. There we go. Okay. This bench flour is 50 50 semolina and double zero. There. Now we need to cut it just for, for personal size. Penuzzo. We'll cut it in half like that. And I'll reserve one of these for later. Shaping wise, you're just pushing the dough out. All right, you're not trying to degas the entire piece of dough. You're just using your fingers and pushing it out lengthwise. Pressing and stretching like this. Yeah, that's great, perfect. I've got the Unicota 16 preheated. Uh, the deck temp's about 650, 700 degrees. So the oven's around medium to medium high. It's not full blast. We're not trying to leopard spot this, uh, this piece of dough. We're just trying to get it a golden brown and get it cooked through, okay? Yeah, see, it should puff up just like that. Kind of like a football. Yeah, catching some color now. That looks great. All right, she's ready to come out. See? There we go. All right, now I'm gonna cut around the perimeter of this bread with a pair of scissors. It's pretty traditional in Italy. If you don't have a kitchen shears, you can use a knife, but I actually found that this works much better. <laughs> Cutting bread with a pair of scissors. It's kind of weird, but it works. See, it's like hollow on the inside. It's perfect for a sandwich. So let's do a cold sandwich first and then we'll follow that up with a hot sandwich. I'm gonna use some copa. This is cured pork, pork shoulder. I'll load it up. Tell you what, we're just gonna use all of this. One giant copa sandwich there like that. Then uh, some fresh mats. Like that. Looks good. Let's throw on some marinated red peppers, roasted red peppers. It's kind of like deli style peppers. Beautiful. Now we're gonna do a uh, little bit of arugula. Ah, it's sticking to me. <laughs> Yeah, that looks, that looks great. Just gonna finish the sandwich off with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Finally, a little bit of kosher salt here and cracked black pepper to finish. There we go. All right, let's cut this guy open and see how it tastes. Take a look at that. Pretty tasty, huh? Looks tasty. Let's give it a bite. Hmm. <laughs> this is freaking delicious. Karen, my cameraman, on the other side of the lens, wants this other half, and he's about to get it. Let's make a hot version of a panolozzo, okay? Let's do that now. All right. Here comes number two. <laughs> this one came out a little narrower than the other one did. Yeah, nice. Okay, for this penuozzo, I'm gonna use these uh, meatballs that I've cut up. This is a, a recipe that I've come up with and I'll attach a link to that video in the upper right hand side. It's just the meatball mix. You don't need to braise the meatballs, just brown them off. 
there. That looks pretty good. Maybe a few more pieces. Eh, one more. There we go. Now I've got rapini here that I've sauteed with copious amounts of garlic. Rapini and garlic love each other. It's a good combo. And for cheese, I'm just gonna use a plain old provolone, deli-style provolone, not picante, just run-of-the-mill provolone. And I've torn up a piece, or some of these uh, fresh mozzarella, and since I have it, I'm just gonna throw it on there too. Now, I'm gonna throw these two pieces back in the uni. We're gonna melt the cheese, and we're gonna heat up all of this yummy stuff right here, okay? So we sw I switch sides because this piece of the sandwich is closest to the flame over here. All right. All right, here we go. Just gonna do this. <laughs> the top piece curled up a little bit. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, here we go. What do you guys think of that? Moment of truth. Mmm, <laughs> that garlic is fierce. <laughs> this is really, really, really delicious. Simplicity is important with these sandwiches. No need to pile a dozen different things on them. Keep it simple and tasty. Hope you enjoy the video. I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>